Imagine four of these tables. This is what one American will consume in snacks throughout the course of a whole year. It's about 200,000 calories. Now, I'm not saying that snacking is a bad thing necessarily, but for some people, snacking is a real problem. And for many of you, the cravings are just not your fault. Look at this table. These foods are addictive and they're designed to be, but that's not the whole story. What if I was to tell you that there is a secret about your snacking habits and cravings that's hidden in your DNA? There's a very interesting gene called the FTO gene. And the FTO gene has an effect on your appetite. It has an effect on your appetite through the effect of a hormone called ghrelin. When you eat a meal, ghrelin levels come down. And then gradually, over time, ghrelin levels start to increase again, and that tells you that you're hungry. But when you have the FTO gene variation, ghrelin levels fall after you've eaten, but then they rise really quickly, and it makes you want to snack. So now that you know this information, what are you going to do with it? First and foremost, you should feel a massive sense of empowerment, understanding that these snacking habits aren't your fault. We all know people that could eat this whole table of snacks and not put a single pound on. I'm not that person, so it's important for me to know my genetics and know my DNA to really establish the type of pattern I should be adopting when it comes to eating and snacking. Now, snacking isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially when you have the FTO gene variation, because as long as you control your snacks and control your meals, and as long as the overall calories at the end of the day are not too high, then it can serve as a way to control your appetite. You just have to make sure that you're selecting the right kinds of snacks. At Fitness Genes, we believe in empowering you with knowledge of your DNA so that you can understand your body and achieve your goals. So if you'd like to know the results of your FTO gene and the results of lots of other genes, just head on over to fitnessgenes.com, pick up your DNA analysis kit, and crush those cravings. <sighs> <laughs>